stating your research aim, research objectives or research questions is maybe the most important part of your research. So let's take a look at it right now. Unfortunately, I cannot give you some universal recipe of how to write the research aim properly, but I hope I can give you some solid advice. First of all, uh, formatting. I mean, there is a lot of confusion about how things should be called, what is a research aim, what is a research objective, what is a research question, and how do these work together? Well, let's go through it. There definitely should be a dedicated part in your paper that is usually called research aim. Now, it's going to be maybe this long, maybe it's going to be half page long, but it's definitely going to be short. In this part, you should clearly say what is your research going to achieve? Where are you heading with your research? Now, inside this research aim part, we are going to write either research objectives or research questions or both of them. And this is where there is a lot of confusion. There are basically four different ways that you can go. Uh, first two are quite simple. Those are that you will have one research objective or one research question. And that's all. The objective will be simply a sentence saying where your research is going. The question will say the same thing. It will just be stated as a question. So these two are the same thing. Now, what is more common are the other two formats when you are combining research questions and research objectives. And it's combined in a very specific way. So you either have one research question that will say where your research is heading with several research objectives below it that will a, a bit more in detailed way describe how you aim to achieve this your target. The other way is to have a research objective and below it having several research questions. So these are the two, the four formats. Uh, let's recap a little bit. One research objective, one research question, one research objective and several research questions or one research question and several research objectives. Now it will depend upon your choice and maybe a choice of your supervisor, which one of these you will go for. All right, enough of theory for now. Let's look at some concrete example. And this is from my old uh, research. So the research aim, so this whole part was stated as follows. Our work builds on the knowledge that vast majority of SAS vendors are unable to survive or leave startup phase. You see, this first sentence in the research aim is basically referring back to the problem description, back to the introduction where we justified our research. So this first sentence is just referring back a little bit. Now will come a research objective. Hence, this paper intends to find out how SAS vendors can develop their venture to reduce the probability of failure. This is a very clear statement saying what we aim to achieve with our research. And now just the following sentence is just to be there, you know. Following questions are set as guidelines to fulfill this aim. And now are coming the subsequent research questions, which should in a bit more detailed way say, how are we planning to fulfill our aim? So what are the suggested approaches for SAS vendors within startup phase? And second, how are practitioners adapting these suggested approaches? Now, when you look at these two research questions, you see that if we answer these two subsequent points, we'll be then able to fill fulfill our research objectives, the main one. So this is an example. And now let's get to some other advice that I have for you when it comes to writing a research aim. First of all, don't use what we call a normative words or normative phrases. And the two most used ones are success and failure. Maybe you would like to write your uh, research aim in a way, uh, let's say, the aim of this paper is to discover how these companies can achieve a success and avoid failure. You just cannot write it this way because uh, what will happen is that it is too vague. It is not justified. And if you still would like to s sort of say it this way and you cannot find a way around how to state it more properly, then what you can do is that you can go back to your problem description, back to your introduction, and define what a success or failure means there. And we have already talked about this in a previous video when we discussed a problem description. 
Second of all, don't try to get your research aim into a perfect final state right now because we are in the very early beginnings of writing a research and now we are going to construct a literature review, we are going to do some data collection and what will happen is that you will have a lot of new ideas so that you will be anyway reformulating your research aim later. I mean, th those will be just some minor changes, but still, if you will try to do it now, it will be simply a waste of time. Thirdly, there are three very important points when it comes to writing a research aim. And those are what, how, and why. And we have discussed these three words in a video where we talked about the nature of the research. So when you are writing a research aim, you have to be very careful with the use of these three. Because most likely, if you have exploratory research, your questions or your research aim will include the word what. The question can start with what. If your research is descriptive, then most likely your question is going to start with how. And if you have explanatory research, your research question will start with why. So be careful with the use of these three words. Fourthly, your research aim should be stated in a way that what we call a symmetry of outcomes will be achieved. And this is a bit fancy phrase, but it's quite a simple idea. Symmetry of outcomes means that whatever the result of the analysis of your data collection will be, this outcome will be valuable. So let's say you have taken some theories and you are trying to apply them to some phenomena that you see occurring. Now, when a symmetry of outcomes is achieved in the early beginning, it means that the answer that, yes, these theories can be used to describe this phenomena, it is valuable, but also if your outcome will be, no, these theories cannot be used to describe this phenomena, this outcome also has a value. So your research aim has to be stated in a way that it follows the idea of symmetry of outcomes. Fifthly, don't overestimate your powers. I mean, this is the beginning of writing a research and I guess you have a lot of ideas and you feel like I can research this, I can research that, I can research everything. But trust me, it is much easier to rather start off with something narrow in your research aim and just then try to expand it when you feel like you have a lot of data and you have some time left. So expand it later on. It's much better than trying to start with something very broad and then later on trying to narrow it down, you know, cutting some parts from the literature review and so on. So don't overestimate your powers. And my final advice is ask for a feedback about your research aim. I mean, research aim is a very short part of your paper. I mean, of course, your friends and colleagues, no one will bother to read 50 pages long paper. You cannot ask a person, hey, can you read my whole paper and give me a feedback? No, no one will do that. But the research aim is just something very short and your friends, your colleagues, your classmates, your supervisors, they will be happy to read it and maybe provide you with some feedback. And this feedback will be especially important for you in a sense that most likely they are going to be confused after they read your research aim and they will be confused like, hmm, what does this mean or what does that mean? And this is valuable for you because it will tell you what should you reformulate or what you should justify in the previous parts of your paper. So ask for a lot of feedback about your research aim. So that is all from me as an advice for you when you are writing your research aim and see you in the next videos.